The Altai is a modern main battle tank developed by Otokar, a subsidiary of Koch Holding, with technological input from Hyundai Rotom of South Korea for the Turkish Army and export markets. It is named in honor of Army General Faradin Altai who commanded the 5th Cavalry Corps in the final stage of the Turkish War of Independence. It is one of the most expensive tank designs with a unit cost of $13.75 million. The National Tank Production Project, Turkish, Me2P, Milli Tank Yuri Timi Projezi, was an initiative developed in the mid-1990s to establish independent and robust infrastructure for the production, development and maintenance of main battle tanks used by the Turkish Armed Forces. The project was initiated with an agreement signed between Otokar and the Under Secretariat for Defense Industries of the Republic of Turkey on March 30, 2007. When the Defense Industries Executive Committee awarded a contract worth approximately $500 million to Otokar for the design, development and production of four prototypes of a national main battle tank. This is Turkey's first MBT development program since 1943 when prototypes of a Turkish national tank were produced in Kirikayo, but never reached full-scale mass production. In order to improve the current technical capabilities of the Turkish defense industries and increase the amount of domestic contribution towards national defense, the Under Secretariat for Defense Industries decided that a national tank will serve as a catalyst for uniting certain Turkish defense companies around a common goal and for providing the Turkish military with extra firepower in the form of a modern tank. The Turkish Ministry of Defense allocated a budget of $1 billion for the development of the Altai. The military electronics company Aselsan manufactures and integrates the Vokan 3 modular fire control system, command, control and information systems, while state-owned MKEK, Mechanical and Chemical Industries Corporation, agreed for the production and integration of a modified and licensed produced Rheinmetall 120mm gun. Another state company rockets and designs an indigenous armor. Once the prototypes are produced and tested, the Under Secretariat for Defense Industries of the Republic of Turkey will prepare and execute a separate order for the first lot of 250 tanks. A total of 1,000 MBTs are planned to be produced in four separate lots of 250 units. Every delivered lot is expected to have additional upgrades. The first 3D image of the MBT was released to the public on April 7, 2010 during a press release by the Under Secretariat for Defense Industries of the Republic of Turkey. The first prototype Altai was ready for use by the end of 2016. The tank is projected to have a 120 mm, 4.7 in smoothbore gun and will include CBRN defense elements to protect it from chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear weapons. The planned maximum speed is set at 70 km per hour, 43 miles per hour, provided by an 1,800 horsepower, 1,300 kilowatts engine. The first two batches will have 1,500 horsepower, 1,100 kilowatts engines and the MBTs will be able to function under 4.1 meters, 13 feet, of water. The tank will benefit both from indigenously developed systems and from the cannon technology of the South Korean K-2 Black Panther, accorded by an agreement signed with South Korea. The first two batches will be powered by the 1,500 horsepower, 1,100 kilowatts, MTU engines whereas the last two batches will be powered by an indigenous 1,800 horsepower engine. On June 16, 2008, SSM and industry members discussed a possible participation for the development of 1,800 horsepower, 1,300 kilowatts, indigenous power pack for use in the armored personnel carriers and main battle tanks produced in Turkey.
Altai appears to share strong chassis characteristics with its technological base, the South Korean K2 Black Panther, with a redesigned Turkish turret and a Selsun's Vulcan E modular fire control system. The tank will be fielded with a Stanag 4579 compatible battlefield target identification system that ensures interoperability among small tank units. There are seven wheels, which translates to a longer hull, heavier armor and increased survivability. While moving at high speeds, to evade ATGM attacks, sudden braking and maneuvering at severe angles are capabilities that were taken into consideration from early developmental stages. An isolated ammunition compartment is designed to protect tank crew, alongside fire and explosion suppression systems which are to activate when hit or when the tank is involved in an accident. The tank is to be equipped with sensors for the detection of contaminated air from chemical, biological and nuclear weapon. Thank you for watching my channel, this video is just an illustration, I hope you can understand it. Thank you my friend.